Hello YouTube, we're taking you guys on a little road trip here. This is uh, the location I want to do a test at. I'm going to go up there and kind of scope it out and I thought I'd bring you along. This is going to be in another town over. Uh, this is on a bluff and the bluff is 590 feet above the city. And I will bring you along and you can see the, the view and I got permission from the park and rec to uh, temporarily uh, place my repeater up here to do a test um, I'm not sure if they're gonna allow me to have a permanent location uh, at first they were like no but then um, you know he's like well once you understood what I was talking about, then he's like, well, we'll let you do a test. Um, I don't want to install the thing and, and spend all the headaches and, and, the, and then find out the range ain't like I thought it would be. So that's kind of why I'm going to do the test. And I've been thinking, how, I'm, how am I going to do this? And I know that one video I talked about having the repeater in my truck. You know, put the antenna like I like that video showed you and then just lock the truck door and then hop another vehicle and the way I go well that would be the easiest way of course can't do things the easiest way um, problem is uh, it's finding someone to want to the times that I can do this is kind of an inconvenient time so finding someone that can come and pick me up and drive me around town to do a distance test, it gets kind of hard. So I'm gonna have to change that plan. I had a idea the other night. I have a small trailer that I can uh, temporarily mount the repeater in it, the antenna and all that stuff. And then I can just unhook the trailer lock it up and then drive down the bluff and uh, do my test come back up unlock the trailer and hook it back to the truck and away I go so that might be the way I might be doing this um, now the only bad thing is I'm going to have to build a rack that's removable because I need my trailer for other things. I'm going to build a rack that is removable so that um, the rack can hold all the repeater gear. Now we're getting towards the top here and now you're going to start seeing a lot of antennas because obviously this is a prime spot for antennas. Um, there's a, there's, the police has an antenna up here or actually a repeater and I think there might be a ham one up here and I'm going to show you something here that you might find. oops sorry about that uh, I'm going to try to show you something here if I can release this thing here is an antenna right there oh I got people behind me of course you know while I pick morning to do this and I'll have probably 10,000 people want to come to the bluff to look at the view so I probably won't be able to show you much. I don't know. We'll see. I didn't think no one will be here. It's kind of early in the morning. But apparently, people are coming. So, uh, But at any rate, there's, there's a whole bunch of other antennas already on the bluff here. Um, and obviously, because that's the it's a good spot to do it. Yeah, and there's cars here. Well, I'm going to show you the best I can without people looking at me funny. Um... There's a parking lot that I will be parking the trailer at, and that parking lot is going to be either here, where I'm driving now, or there might be another, another parking lot down here. I want to get as close as I can as possible to what they call a, the Outlook. Now, I can't drive to the Outlook. You have to walk to it. But I want to kind of show you what my plan is, and uh, I 
and I think there's one more parking lot, if I remember right, up here that I can park my trailer and unhook it. And uh, we'll go to that parking lot and I uh, will show you. And there is a flagpole that is on the out the, the outlook or um, and that flagpole is 75 feet tall that would be that would be a real cool place to put a an antenna on but I don't think they're gonna let me put it on the flagpole that would be prime location big time oh there's a ton of people up here too of course why wouldn't there not be well here's the parking lot I'm gonna kind of park and um, this is the parking lot I'm going to park, I'm going to put you on pause, and we're going to walk up to the outlook, and you're going to see this. So hopefully I can get you guys a better shot. And, um, I'm in the parking lot where I would be parking the trailer, and then uh, I would unhook it, so, and then drive down below. But I'm going to walk over to the outlook. I don't think there's no one there. So I'm going to quickly do this. It might be windy, just to warn you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk much. So let's see what I can do. I'll be right back. I'm going to put you on, on, on hold here. Okay, guys. Hopefully it ain't too windy. Here is the outlook, the overlook, or whatever you want to call it. There's the flagpole. This is the... You can't drive over here. You have to walk. And I'm going to show you the view of why this will be a really good spot to put a repeater antenna. It is amazing view. Now, it's kind of windy, so hopefully the microphone isn't picking up too bad. It's really cool. Here is the view that I think I get really, really good range. According to the data, this is 590 feet above the city. And we're going to kind of walk around here. Okay. I'm showing you this. I'm doing this part of the video now. Because as the weather gets warmer. I won't be able to come up here with the. With the. Um, uh, with the phone to record this. So I'm kind of doing it now. But this is the view. That you will get. There's another. Windy up here. Another little outlook. This is the view. I'm gonna hopefully think the range is gonna be good. Now granted, the parking lot is back there. You can kind of see where the cars are at. So there's there's some trees. I mean, it'd be ideal to put it on that thing, wouldn't it? Oh, on that flagpole? That'd be really cool, but that probably won't happen. But there's the parking lot. I'm gonna kind of walk over here. The parking lot's gonna be people coming to of course <laughs> well anyway so I'm gonna make this quick here but the parking lot is actually right down here right down there is where I'd be parking the vehicle so there'd be trees and stuff in the way but um there's a walking trail people like to go on but I'm gonna go ahead and pause this I got people coming now so I'll turn you back on when I get in the car hopefully you like the view Okay, guys, I'm back in the car. I kind of want to do a quick scan to kind of show you the parking lot comp and then compared to where the flagpole is at. Um, like I said, there's, tre there's trees around the parking lot as you kind of you can kind of see now. But I want to do like a, a 360 scan. But I got people here, of course. So I'm um, hopefully they'll leave here. I think they're getting ready to leave. So once they're um, gone I can quickly do a scan here and you can kind of see uh, what the um, trains like around in the parking lot where the trailer will be parked at either the trailer or my truck whichever one I decide to go with if I do the trailer idea I will do a video on the build basically I got to build a, a 
a rack that's lockable, that's um, waterproof. Um, the antenna mass will be that pole that will slide on to the a holder onto the trailer that will be locked in place. Um, there'll be a, a battery inside the rack, I call it the rack, that I will make that will hold a 12 volt battery. If I did my calculations right, depending on what I run for power and how many amps and all that, the battery will last anywhere from two to three hours at a constant, uh, two hours at a constant 15 amp draw. Well, I won't be dead keying for two hours straight, but so I should get enough time to do a good, few good spots throughout the town below this. Um, again, I may do all this and I still may get denied, but um, it's worth a try. I mean, it, it doesn't hurt to try. Now I got another person coming. It's like everybody's coming the same day I come. Unbelievable. At any rate, if I do get approved to put the repeater here, it will not be in this parking lot. It would probably be down the road a little bit um, because there's no buildings here they have a I'm, a I'm going to assume if the park and rec approved this there's um, a tower it might have been that tower I showed you in the video but there's a tower that's got like a little building um, I would assume it would be mounted on there my only concern is about doing that is that I, you know, 50 feet of coax, which is eh, not bad, but if you got tall trees around it that are going to have a ton of leaves, I'm a little worried about how that's going to work. So I'm going to have to kind of see if I get approved where they would put this at, then kind of go from there. Might have to do another test. Maybe I'll have to bring the trailer up and put park the trailer there and see if no, there must be a function going on up here. There's a ton of people coming now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The day I pick, there's 10,000 people. <sighs> well, let me, I got an idea here. Let me go down this street here and kind of pan. Maybe if I move down a little bit. I don't know if there's something going on here or what. There's like a little shelter people can use up by the flagpole. I don't know if you noticed that, but I'm going to do this. Let's go ahead and do another shot. I know I don't want to really get people in my video, but I don't think. Let me do this. Let's try this. I'm going to try to come back up and then kind of do one more shot of the parking lot. I'm hoping there won't be people in there because I really don't want them in my video. But. What do you do? The day I picked, there's a function going on or something. I don't know. any rate, so I don't know if it will be down here would be the actual location of the repeater, which, as you can see in the video, there's a ton of trees. And trees will get leaves, and that's going to bother me with reception. I'm just, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's where they would actually have me put the repeater or not. If I get approved, remember this is all a big if. I don't know if he's gonna, if they're gonna approve it. And I told them it's for free public use, so there's I'm not charging no fee or nothing like that to access the repeater. It's anyone can access it if they want, and you know, whatever. Um, so that's kind of what I want to do. I want to make it free for everybody. Uh, you know, and uh, kind of, I think it'd be kind of neat. So now I'm driving back up the same road that I just came down. I'm going to try to do a shot of the parking lot. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see much or not. I, I, I can't sit around and wait for no one to be here. But but that's where my trailer is going to go. Like I say, I'll have to make sure I lock it really good. I'll put a ball or a... Um, there's a, I'll put two locks. There's one that you put where the the um, ball of your truck would go. I'm gonna put a lock there. See all the cars. But this is this is where I'm gonna park the trailer. 
I'm just gonna do a turn here and we're gonna get going before someone wonders what am I doing here. But I'm gonna turn as, as I turn, you can kind of see right there's the walkway that I walked up to the flagpole. And uh, so, yeah, there must be a function or something, a get together or something up here because there's trucks coming, cars coming. At any rate, so that's where the trailer's gonna part if I do the trailer idea instead of the truck. Um, we'll have to see. The trailer idea is kind of cool because I can just unhook it and drop it, unhook, throw up the antenna quick, drive away. If I put a lock on the, on the hitch and two locks on the hitch, one will be where the ball would go. I'll put one of those clamping locks and then I'll put a, another lock where um, the lever is for the hitch. I'll put a lock, another lock through there. Uh, the rack would be mounted to the bed of the trailer so that wouldn't be able to be stolen. Um, there would be like a door or something that I could unlock to turn on the repeater and do all that stuff. I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet, but it'd be a door of some sort that locks. The pole, I'm going to have to make it so I can lock the pole. I'll probably use one of those trailer um, locks. They'll type that look like a pin, and then you slide the lock on. I'll drill a hole and then put the pin through so that they can't lift the pole out to steal the antenna. That's about the best I can do for locking up. It'd be, it's going to be up here for a couple hours at least um, to do this range test. But at any rate, I want to show you some more towers here. This, I think this is this is actually someone's house. Someone's got a house up here, and I don't know. It's it's quite interesting because I don't want to really show their house because for privacy reasons. But it is a house, but they got a ton of tennas. I don't know if they rent the space. I don't know. It's really interesting. Let me see if I can quickly get you off this stand here. You can see this. Like I said, I don't want to show the house too much, but look at all the look at all the antennas. That one's really tall. That's a house. That's a that's the residential house right there. So another car coming, <laughs> of course. Unbelievable. I cannot believe the traffic. So um at any rate, there's a ton of ton of antennas on this on this bluff um so uh i don't know where they would have me put my antenna if they allow it so that will be interesting and the other problem might be is again if i have if 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 a tower's got to be climbed to mount the antenna i don't know if they'll I don't know unless they got someone that will climb the tower to mount the antenna I don't think they're gonna want me climbing the tower so that could be another problem the cost to hire someone to do that could be pricey and that would not be feasible in the, my budget so this all may not there's another 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 big another big tower let's see if I can show you this I don't know if you can see it or not it's kind of hard to see but we'll show you Oh, it's, you can kind of see it through the trees. Maybe I'll go up here a little bit. Eh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's another big tower. And the police have their repeater up here. Right there. Uh, you probably can't see it. I can actually see it better, not through the camera, than I can. Yeah, you probably can't. Yeah, you can't really see that. It's right, well, you can kind of... Well, yeah, not very good. You can kind of see a little bit of it. Anywho, so, at any rate, that's the plan. I don't know. Like I say, they may not even let me do none of this, so I'm not sure if, I don't know. I, I'm kind of debating how fancy I want to make this, this little portable mobile trailer setup. I mean, it's got to be lockable. It's got to be, got to be, you know, water resistant. So if it happens to start raining or something, I don't want nothing getting wet. I got the material to build it, so that's not a big deal. Just how it just depends on how much time I want to put into it. Um, I'm debating if I'm going to use wood or metal or what. 
I don't have a lot of wood, so it may have to be uh, metal. That's not a big deal. I got a welder, plasma cutter, all that stuff, so that's that's not a problem there. I don't know. Well, the kind of I'm kind of pondering the idea. At any rate, I just want to show you this, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please post them below. Please subscribe. Thank you.